Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. Ah, I see that. So. Right. Okay. Let us start. Uh, hi, Vicky. How are you? I've got another music going on in the background and I'm trying to. Okay. So, how are you doing, sweetie? Is your guest still with you? Um, I've been checking and following you. Great messages. Hello, Aida. How are you? Well, today, today is October 9th. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Look who's talking. I just love being here at this time. I love autumn. I truly enjoy this incredible weather it's sunny it's uh damp and it's uh cool and breezy i don't know how you like it so this this time of the season it brings so much joy it's like i know it's autumn but to me it's the beginning of shedding shedding leaves shedding a lot of things right uh, the moon is full and we are in the brink of going into this hibernation that's what i think about autumn it's right when we are getting ready to shed i know the colors are changing as we walk we become aware do you become aware when you walk in the streets? Do you just close your eyes and just take in all this incredible sense, the new sense of autumn and even the moistness? I love that, that part of feeling the moistness and the birds are not singing as much. So what else is happening? I just walking in the streets after a, a sprinkle of rain it's it has a different sound so i become more aware i just adore this time more than springtime and uh hello elijah how are you i we were talking we are talking about autumn and uh, becoming so aware of the season the scent the smells the the texture of the leaves beneath our feet even the sound of the crispness as it breaks down so and that's where we are i had uh, a client today who came in for anxiety and he was speaking how he goes into this anxiety happens and i was saying so how does it happen and Interestingly, there is a whole process and he had the entire process down. And uh, so I just shared with him for him to become more aware of his feelings when this happens, because it doesn't just happen. There is a whole process. And I think that's the part we forget in life, right? Things do not happen to us, they happen for us. And if we become more aware of it, we recognize the process. So this happens and then that happened and then after that, this process happened and then I felt this and then my heart and then I started thinking so this entire beautiful process of when we either feel pain or anxiety, it starts from the inside. And when it starts from the inside, the triggers. We may not be aware of the triggers, but interestingly, we become aware of the process and it happens so fast that we are not aware of it until we either write it or speak it with someone who listens for the right things that are happening so um 
most times when we go into this sense of anxiety, it's stopping for just a moment and taking a, a just a moment instead of fixing it, holding space for ourselves, holding space and just being okay for that very moment and saying it's okay, this is what's happening and just be present. Part of mindfulness, when they teach mindfulness, is that we can be doing something. You know uh, how we play that uh, musical chair, right? And we get, let's say, we put six chairs or ten chairs or whatever, and we always have one extra person more than the chairs. I like to call it one extra person more than the chairs instead of one less chair for the people. So we always have one extra person. And when we go round and about, round and about, as the music is going, we are constantly looking to see we, where is the next chair that we can sit. We go and make ourselves closer and closer to the chair. And the moment the music starts, we juggle to find that seat to sit so we are not out. In a way, that's called becoming more aware of the person in front of you becoming aware of your proximity to the chair, becoming aware of the music and how you can position yourself. So think of this, so much awareness going on during a game, during fun, during something that excites you. And that's what, this, this is what life is. Anxiety is part of that. And when that happens, while we're going round and about to get the right chair and the music is going, everybody's laughing, there is competition going, I know, I speak with my hands. And I don't know if you feel the same or not, but the moment that music stops, we find the chair or we scrabble to get the chair. And we sit and everybody looks at each other and we laugh because that's what a fun game competition is. But mind you, it's also a mindfulness that at that very moment we freeze and we sit waiting to see who was left out and then we continue the game again. So add mindfulness, we hold space. First, right here within ourselves. So if I were to ring the bell, oh, hold on a second. I do have a bell. So if I were, hi Carrie. So if I were to say whatever it is that you are doing at this very moment, if I were to ring this bell, you freeze at that very moment. Literally, if your leg was up, just hold your leg there. If you were moving like this, you just stay frozen. Until there is another bell and then we move so in mindfulness and in hypnosis in trance state we let go and we become one for that moment to become fully aware fully engrossed into that very moment and just like last night as i was walking I took a stroll at 11.30 at night. I was aware of the leaves. I was looking up and just taking in the bark of the tree, the branches, the leaves, the different colors, even the smell. 
and I stood frozen for just a moment. And I want you to practice, if you can, no matter where you are, even after you finish this. Either if you are here right now or you're watching this on a replay, please share this video. Give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want something different, share and I'll bring that to you. Because there is nothing far greater for me than to help you, give you tools so that it can help you in your daily life, in, in becoming better physically, mentally, and emotionally. So let me know what you think. Have you taken time? Um, and I'm going to speak to Becky for this very moment. I know, Becky, when you used to float in your swimming pool on your, um, on your whatever it is you call it, the, I call it dinghy or the, the float. And at that very moment, when you would put your finger in the water and close your eyes and allow the sun just to warm your body from above, but you had one finger or your hand lingering in the water, knowing that you are safe on the float. Isn't that just pure essence of oneness and awareness? That's what it is. You are safe on the float, and yet you're floating on the water. And when you put your hand, and you can even do this, creating waves, the float starts moving, creating very gentle, and yet you are in your swimming pool, safe, protected, knowing that at any time you can just flip over and put your feet down and swim to the ledge of the swimming pool, get out and sit. So in life, it's becoming aware and mindfulness is becoming aware in small little uh, boxes, moments that we cherish, that we safeguard. So become more aware. Create small little blo blocks or boxes, moments that you can cherish and be mindful of. So the exercise I would ask you to do is, um, hi Chris, hi Andre, thank you for being here. Oh my God, it's so good for all of you to be here. If you are here, please let me know, share it, like it, and send me a comment. Uh, this entire thing, I come in every week. I know I get messages. I know get I, I get emails. I get phone calls. But you know, the most beautiful part of this is I've been doing this for over a year and a half. Uh, every single Tuesday, I come for you. So I want to give you what you want and what benefits you. So last night, I had um, a request. And the request was for me to do a full 15, 20 minute guided visualization for you all. And uh, I had a client that came in today, just this morning at 9.30, all the way from Kenyan country for anxiety. I want to also, oh yeah, verbiage, the way we speak. The way we speak and we hear is so important. So when he was saying, I die, I, um, I just drop into, it's as if my anxiety just drops me into it and I crash. And a few moments later, he said that he used to be a diver. And I said, how about from now on, instead of crashing, you die. Because when we want to dive, 
that means we come prepared. We know we're going to dive. We've got our gears. We've got our oxygen. We check everything and then we put it on. Before that, we even have our swim gears and swimsuit, our wetsuit in order for us to go diving. Our uh, gargles and uh, the oxygen. So everything is in place before we go diving. And that was one of the best analogies that someone had shared with him and told him if he could do that. Would that make it easier for him? So what I do with my clients is find ways to make it easier and more effortless to come up with strategies because strategies to me is just hi lisa strategies are just strategies sometimes strategies can be so uh, logic so they can be so concrete they can be so numerology numerology not numerology but mathematics it's like logistics but when we come with creating a different uh, verbiage for someone to deal with anxiety pain hurt whatever it is it becomes easier it's finding what resonates with that person and helping them with what they know not what i know it's not about me so would you like to have a 15 minute guided visualization so let me know if you do a thumbs up or if i see any emojis of uh, either hearts or thumbs up i'll be more than happy for you uh, to receive a 15 minute guided visualization and you can listen to this at any time as long as you're not driving a car so is that a yes just let me know i know there's few of you here so let me know and um, we will continue actually i'm going to continue anyhow because it doesn't matter if you are here or not i will do this maybe you can come afterwards and listen to it so let's do this i don't even know how i sound because i didn't have my earphones earphones earplugs on so let me do this so as i do the guided visualization you can hear it much better okay hmm. is that making does that make a difference okay well let's do this sit back no matter where you are just find a place for you to be comfortable, safe, safe space. Your back is resting. And when you feel like it, you can go ahead and just close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, breathe. If it's possible for you to place your hand on your side, palms down, maybe even put one hand on your tummy so you can feel your tummy in each and every breath that you breathe. And as you relax, Let go of your mind, allow it to float every time there is a thought, an idea, an image, a concept, even a color or a shape that comes into your mind. Let it come and go. Just allow your mind to relax as every thought that comes to you 
you can become aware of it and let go. All the he said and she said. And become more aware of all the sounds that surround you. And as you breathe in and out easily and gently, just allow that one thought and hold onto one thought. Let it linger and release. Releasing just as if sending a balloon up into the air. And each and every time we can imagine in, into our, in our mind, sending and releasing a helium balloon up into the air, just like a child, we look all the way up until we can no longer see the balloon. And as you look all the way up, just allow your eyes to close so that you can feel and linger within yourself, knowing that nothing, nothing matters at this very moment except your thoughts, that you let go, your breath, your body, knowing that you have a sound mind and you have a body that shields you and protects you, a heart that beats for you. And everything that surrounds you, the clothes that you are wearing, protecting you and shielding your body, your skin, the hair on your body, all the hair follicles, all the pores, even without noticing it's there. It breathes and it brings oxygen and vitality through the pores, into your skin, beneath your skin, all the way down. And as you breathe in, bringing that oxygen and vitality inside your body, hold. Four, three, two, one, exhale. Release. It's as if emptying that balloon that was filled with air and helium, perhaps even filled with so much feeling overwhelmed, overstuffed, overexposed, overdone. And you just release it by opening that opening in. And again, as you breathe in and out easily and gently, allowing that oxygen and vitality to come into your body from the top of your head all the way down, every single hair follicle, every single hair, every single hair around your eyebrows all the way down into your body as they stand, as you get goosebumps, as you become aware of this incredible body of yours being alive, being present, being here, being now. You exhale and you release, releasing, letting go of all that you no longer desire. Exhaling pressure, exhaling what you want to let go. 
and recognize that as you breathe in oxygen and vitality, that it comes through your nostrils all the way down to your throat, all the way down to your chest. And it lingers. And as your chest expands, your lungs expand, it sends oxygen into your heart that pumps oxygenated, oxygenated blood all the way down, all the way down, down, down to the tip of each and every toe in between your toes. All the way up to the next toe, down in between, all the way down to the calf to the bottom of your feet and then up to the top and then to your ankles round and around, round and about, all the way up to your calves, all the way up to the back of your knees, beneath the kneecap and then all the way up to your thighs Relaxing where you are sitting, just allowing for you to be aware and recognize, being grateful to your limbs. To your hips that shift and rotate for you, your sensuality. Being grateful for who you are. your sexuality, your desires, and then all the way up to your stomach, which is your core, vitality, the essence, the beginning of life, where you digest food, you digest life, and allow the sunny, bright, warmth and heat begin inside as you breathe in and out releasing melting away all hurt and pain and as you exhale you release self-doubt shame guilt of the past doesn't matter. Just becoming one with this very moment. As if engulfing yourself with your favorite color. Like wearing a robe that is so comfy and cozy makes you feel one. and allow that wonderful wave of lovingness, nurturing, to come all the way up to your chest. And as you expand your chest, the rib cage, by expanding, opening, palms up, just allow the vibration of light, love, sensation, tingle. Feeling that tingle and tingling sensation that started from the top of your head, went all the way down to the bottom of your feet and now all the way in the palm of your hands, as if knowing that now you can hold that vibration, that light, that love, the essence of who you are in the palm of your hand and know that you matter. This very moment matters because you are so aware of you, life, existence, hearing, seeing, feeling, tasting, touching. 
touch. And at that very moment, placing it, safeguarding you, the little girl, the little boy within you, as if knowing that you are safe now and this incredible body of yours is here to protect you and that no matter where you are, you are safe. That when and if there is an anxiety, you can now bring it to this very moment of step, 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 forward. just as if holding a child. Just when we go into that time when we are so much in pain and we want to cry in ball, we rock. Rocking. Soothing ourselves. Soothing yourself. And as you evoke all that, you come to embrace every essence of what you feel, what you think, what you know, and realize just as if writing on a small little piece of paper, folding it, tying it at the bottom of a string connected to one or a bunch of helium balloons. You tie it and you wish upon a star and you release it and let it go. Let it float. Let it take away. And as you breathe in and out easily, giving yourself this moment of oneness, this me time of gratefulness within your body, perfect or not, tall or short, heavy or light, big or small, dark or light, forward or backwards. Realize that you do matter just as you are. And that, that is your perfection. With the imperfections. That is your transformation to knowing I matter, I am, I exist. And as you are listening, breathing in and out easily, as you reaffirm those incantations, affirmations to yourself that you do matter. That this body of yours is perfect just as it is in every day, in every way, when and if you choose, you choose healthier ways. Not that every day in every way I get better. That means there is a lack. But there is no lack. There is no wrong. You are exactly where you are. And you can become what you choose. Healthier in mind, in body, in heart. Having a better relationship, a loving relationship with every essence of you. So that when you love 
all this. Embrace all this. You come to open your hand to embrace the leaves, the hair, the color of your eyes, the movement, your fingers, your fingernails, every part of you, especially your core, that digests life and food, nourishing yourself with more goodness, mindset, heart set, soul set, hand set. Hmm. So the next time when you want to calm yourself, one of the best ways is also sigh. Hmm. And when you are ready, you open your eyes. Embrace that internal smile. This time you gave to yourself. And be grateful for all the ones that have been a part of your life. I hope this moment was wonderful for you. That you can utilize it to relax yourself when you feel anxious. When you feel you need to calm yourself. And to revalidate who you were. And if there is anything I can give you because I also do uh, recordings that are specific for different people, for different reasons. Or should you want to call me, meet with me, by all means do so as well. I am here for you. Share with me how this relaxation helped you, how this guided visualization helped you, and if it made any changes. And if you continue doing this or having me time for yourself, consecutively 33 days in a row, you will see significant changes in your mind, in your body, in the essence of every nerve and feel that state of relaxation and connection and awareness with all that surrounds you. So today, hello Renee, namaste, that's right. For now, I know it's been more than 30 minutes, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a line, share it, like it, and let me know how I can help you or someone that you know. Until next week. Oh, by the way, if you would like, I do a few moments, like three-minute uh, daily gratitudes. Uh, it's called Daily Gratitude Idea. You can find it on Facebook and join our group. We have a nice group every single morning. I do a gratitude or affirmation. It's just a small three-minute daily gratitude. And uh, it's interactive. We're going to be having more discussions and talk about different things. So... Be a part of it. Join us. And until next week, God bless you and may the universal light surround you at all times.